Hi everyone, happy Saturday. It's painting time. So I'm working on this lovely little guile. Um, so this is textured paper and I used watercolor to do the hair, the face, the neck, and I use alcohol markers to do the sweater and then the collar here. So I'm at the point where I used a 0 .3, 0 .03, um, micro pen and I went and did all of the eyebrows and then the eyes the glasses and I am at the point now where I'm doing the shading on this so the best way I found for me to do the shading is to use pen pastel with a tiny little brush and then just create the shades around the face that way so um, I do multiple colors for the shading so I start with an um, a really light red oxide color. I did this base and now I'm doing a little bit the darker shade to be on top. And the best way I found is to dip it in here and then take a little piece of paper and dab the extra because it doesn't take much to go overboard. And then I just go around the face and the lines and I just tap, 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 and then just create like very soft shading around and I do this until I'm happy or I'm ready to cry, depending on the day. <laughs> so yeah, I've been working that way um, on this little gal for a little bit now. It's the first time dra drawing some glasses. So there's a first for everything. Um, so yeah, so I'm learning too as I go, um, you know, to be more confident into what I do and not trying to be too scared and say, oh, I'm gonna mess up something. So what's the worst is gonna happen? I'm gonna have to redo it, right? So I know it's not fun, but hey, that's how you learn. It's not how many times you fail, it's how many times you are able to succeed, redo and then be happy with what you do instead of you know, being traumatized and scared and not even take a chance. So. That's here I am now. I'm finishing the corners here. I'm trying to make sure that there's enough material sticking to it. And then, yeah, so that's how I do my little shading for on the face. The good thing about the textured paper is it really grabs the pen pastel powder without being aggressive. That's why I like it a lot. And I use it on the textured paper because it's easier to create shading that way than trying to do it with watercolor. That's just me though. Everybody does stuff differently. But no, I mean, I'm really liking this so far. I'm happy with it. So yeah, so <laughs> that's all I have to say for now. Anyways, you guys have a good evening. Bye.